All right, so how you doing, my man? Good, I'm Rick. All right, I'm Rob from All Things Classic. What we got here today? 67 Chevelle Supersport. 67, huh? Yep. Wow, how it's long a, you? It's a true 13817 VIN. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So that's, that, that's a super sport. Super sport. Yeah. Right, right. So how long you had her? Had a couple years. Oh, yeah? Bought it from a good friend of mine who is also a Roma Lodge member. Okay. And um, he told me about five years ago when I saw him bring it to this event at Roma Lodge Coffee and Cars. He's a member here like I am. Right. And his name's Dave Pagliaro. Dave. <laughs> Okay. And um, I saw the car and I said, Dave, if you ever go to sell that car, let me know. Okay. And he said, I will. So then two years ago, he and this was like five years ago. Right. Four or five years ago. So he calls me and he says, hey, Rick, uh, I'm ready to sell. Right. And I went, sell what? <laughs> so he said, sell the car, sell the Chevelle. You said you wanted me to give you a shot. I said, yeah. He wow. Said, yeah. He said, Mary and I want you to have it. Really? Yep. And he said, because we know you're not going to try to turn it, you know, yeah. off it off of it. Which right. He said, and then he said, you'll take very good care of it. Right. He will. Really? So, and sold you, it to me, and I'm the proud owner. My wife and I, Pam, are the proud owner. Of it. Okay, so it was just like this? It was, yeah, it, Dave took very good care of it. Okay. So what I did uh, after I got it, I, and it didn't need much cleaning, but I took off uh, the bumpers and emblems and some of the superficial things right. around the car. I took off the wheel lip moldings, the rockers, and cleaned them all up, inspected for rust, but I just found a little rust on the back of the trunk lid. Oh, that okay. Was, very insignificant. I repaired that with no problem. Right, right. Wow. Black. This baby is nice, though. Yeah, thank you. So what size engine in here? This, it originally came with a 396. They call it a 396 guys. turbojet. Wow. What was the turbojet right. about? Yeah, that's a good question. I do not know that. Oh, okay. It's probably okay. Some, some sort of a marketing thing. Oh, okay. But anyway, so the original engine was a 396. Now it's got a 454. Uh, big block Chevy. Wow, 454. That's a big yeah. boy. 454. Look at the 396 on the front, guys. Yeah, yeah it's a big wow. boy engine. So he had this in here. Yep. You, yeah. Okay. He bought it. He bought it. He had it 23 years. Wow. Look at that guy. Yep. 23 years. Big block. And I've wow. cleaned, up, cleaned up a little bit. I still I got a little valve cover leak there, but I can fix that. And I got a little pinhole in my radiator, but I'll fix that as well. Wow. But. This you know, Rob, nice. the, the thing about this car, when it came from the fact, it wasn't this color. Right. It was like a tan, I think. Okay. But when it came, the original car came with uh, factory air conditioning, which is a real rare option on the car. Oh, really? From the factory. Factory air. It also had power steering from the factory. It wow. had power brakes from the factory. It had tilt steering from the factory. Really? And electric windows oh wow so it's a high option wow car. yeah open these doors up for me you don't mind what kind of those Krager rims on there Krager's, yeah. that's nice so I see you upgraded or he upgraded the brakes on here huh yes he did he put um, he put the this on okay right right wow yep. this the chrome on here everything on here is really yeah. really nice yeah all the superficial things like I said I took off um, yeah, look at those doors. Yeah, you can see the you, you can see the uh, seams there, guys. Wow, that interior one just one speaker in the rear back there, huh? Wow, look at this headliner. Yeah, that came with, wow. the, with the car. That's in the spec sheet that I have from the factory. Oh yeah, it came with the rear speaker so and rear defogger. So yeah, it's got electric one nose. Yep. Wow. Yep. Look at that, guys. This is really, really nice. SS. Yep. Wow. Look at this guy. The Speedo still works. It's got Everything the center console. Works. Yeah. Center console. Yeah. This is all from the factory. Yep. Wow. Buckets. Got the got the tech in the middle there. It has a clock. Oh, that's a clock. Yeah, the clock. It doesn't work, but I'm thinking I'm gonna fix it. Oh, that's a clock. I thought it was a tech. Okay. Yeah, it's a clock. Okay. Wow. These are called from the factory Astro Seats. Okay. Why? I don't know. Maybe you're an oh. astronaut flying around. <laughs> I don't know. It's got the vent. Yeah. Okay, the door locks. Look at that. Look at the door panels here, guys. Yeah, really, really nice. This is beautiful. I love this car. Beautiful. Man. You don't see a lot of them. Yeah, not with these options. Black either? Wow. Yeah. This is nice. I was hoping I would catch you. Yeah. 
Wow. This, uh, the paint on this, Dave told me that he didn't do anything. He said when he, he had the car 23 years or so, 24 maybe, and he said he washed it maybe five times. Oh, really? That was it. What he used was this wash and dry glaze. And right. I've been using it. Right. And you can see this paint job is from the 70s. Wow. Really? Yep. Here, wow. I'll lift this up for you, Rob. So you can see they got the original spackle. Wow. You know, like from the factory. Wow, look at that. Yep. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is super, super clean. Yeah. I hear echo in here, too. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Yep. Wow, got to change it for the change. This is really, really nice, my man. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. You. Let, let the trunk down. Let me get the whole rear end on this baby. Wow, look at that. That is nice, my man. 396 in the back back there, guys. Wow. Man. Yeah, she is really nice. You mind opening this other door for me? All right. For you, of course. Wow, look at that. Yes, sir. Yep, yep, you can see the seams there, guys. Wow, look at that. Those seats look good. So are these the originals or have- No, have, they're recovered, I'm they sure. Recover? But the, the, the seats are original, but the covering Covers is-, is oh, new. Recovered. Yeah, right? recovered, but the headrests, Wow. Those came with the car. Like I said, they're Astro, Astro seats. So it's got the air, everything for yeah. the air there. Yep. Wow. This is really, really nice. You so know, you know why I like this car too, Rob, is because it came with an auto um, automatic transmission, right? Not a manual transmission. Right. So that you know, guys aren't beating the hell out of it. Right. At, right. At least I, I assume it, that. Right. So what are you? You you the third owner? You're not really sure. Uh, no, no, I know. Yeah, I put together the spec sheet. And 67 Chevelle. Here's the VIN. As I said, it's a true 138.17. That means it's a Chevy. 38 means it's an SS396 V8. And the 17 means it's a two-door sport coupe. Okay. Okay. And then the 7 means it was manufactured in 1977. K was Kansas City. And then that's the serial number, 124139. Okay. The original engine, the engine it has in it now is this. Okay. That's the number on that engine. It was originally a 396. Okay. Right. It was a 350 V8 turbojet, turbo uh, hydromatic. And then, like I said, it came with the Astro seats, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, power windows, tinted windshield, tilt steering, and rear seat speaker. So the mm. paint coat originally was a TT, and that's on the cowl tag. Right. And its exterior was a cream color. Okay. Okay. The interior was, was a gold. gold. Okay. Yeah. So I'm the... Th Fourth, fourth owner. owner. Okay, okay. Yeah. So from 66 to... Okay. 67, it was delivered on my 67. birthday in 1967. Okay. So when I had that, I figured I got to have this car. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was born on my birthday, like me. But except I was a few years before 67. So you know, was, I'm older than that. Yeah, it was born. So. It was out in, in Des Moines, yep. Iowa, and then yep. ended up in Kenosha. Huh? Yep, and this is my friend. <clears throat> Dave and Mary. All right. And you know what I've got with this? Even the, back in the day, you probably are familiar, these cars came with a protector plate. Okay. Okay? Right. It's a metal plate that GM issued to the owners. Right. And it was like a credit card that you would go into the dealership and use that, and they would, you know, use those old credit card machines. Really? Yeah. It even came with that. Oh, really? Protector plate. Yeah. You don't see a lot of Do you those. have that in the car here? Not in the car. In the car? No, I won't bring it in. I, well, I got it at home. In a no, I was just curious. Yeah. I like to say I've never seen one yeah, of them. So, yeah. wow. Oh, that's nice, yeah. my man. Thank you. That is really, really nice. Thank you. Yes, yeah. sir. I just figure I'm, I'm going to be the best steward of this car that I can. No, oh, you're doing a yeah. good job, my man. Yeah. You're Thank doing you. a good job. Well, I appreciate you taking out the time. For you, anything, Rob. You know all that. right, all right. That works, my man. Okay. I appreciate it. Right. Come. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. All right, Rick, my man. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rob. Yep, have a good one. All right, we'll see ya. Yeah, she clean 67, guys. 
All right.